Henry, you're the motor industry correspondent at the FT, so I thought I would ask you. I have a UK car maker run by Germans, which makes most of its money uh, in China, and at the moment it's 100% owned by Indians. I'm talking about Tata Motors' 100% stake in Jaguar Land Rover, of course. I wonder, however, if it's time they should at least partly IPO JLR on the London market. Well, Jaguar Land Rover has been an amazing success for Tata Motors. I mean, why on earth would they want to divest? I think it's because of the not small capital spending that I think Jaguar will have to make in the next few years as it effectively doubles in size. I mean, you know, currently it's making between 400 and 500,000 cars a year. By the end of the decade, I think it wants to make many more, you know, almost 800,000. Uh, that's a big uh, commitment in terms of capacity. Interestingly, JLR is independently financed, independently run. Uh, it produces operating cash flow of about three billion pounds a year. About 2.7 billion of that goes straight into investment. Uh, I think equity has a role here compared to Tata Motors, for example, issuing debt or even issuing equity itself to fund the business. Sure, fine. So if we accept that Tata Motors would be willing to give up some of its stake, what makes you think that investors are willing to buy a slice of, of the UK car industry? This is an industry that 10 years ago looked like it was dead and buried and there hasn't been a car maker listed for 25 years. Yeah, but the, 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 the turnaround in JLR has been such that it's now worth perhaps 90% or more of a Tata Motors share. And I think if you're a UK institutional fund manager, um, to invest in Tata Motors at the moment, you have to do a very complicated sum of the parts valuation to get to your JLR exposure. Whereas if you had JLR equity, uh, you'd have a, a pure play on UK car making on the wider UK economy, and you wouldn't have to worry so much about Tata Motors exposure to the Indian economy. Sure. All right, Joseph. Well, if Tata Motors are willing to sell and institutional investors are willing to take a stake, are we not overlooking the fact that Jaguar Land Rover would be better off without minority shareholders and is, and is stronger with a, a nice, strong, stable parent? Potentially, yes. I mean, given the, the revolution in front of it, you know, they may wish the, to avoid you know, public exposure. However, I think in terms of the, 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 the sheer money that needs to be put into this business, especially considering the entire auto industry may be on the verge of a technological revolution, so there may be unexpected capital spending to make here. Mm. I think, you know, again, equity has a, a role to play, possibly. But it's Tata Motors' decision in the end. Thank you, Henry. Thank you very much.